Hey guys, how's it going? This is just a short quick video covering over the manifest guide that were added to the game recently. We're gonna cover over Seti and Serene, so let's just get right into it. First off, we have Seti's manifest weapon here. As you can tell, he gets his fancy schmancy red spear lance. At full manifest level, he gets it at 190 attack, and it'll have an affected enhancement on his blaze impact skill and vigilant lance. For blaze impact, he gets an extra fire attack type plus 30%, three turns max stack of times three for plus 60% effectiveness. And for his Vigilant Lance, it is a fire type piercing attack with a added intelligence minus 30% for three turns. He also gains the type resistance to all party members for plus 30% for three turns. Next, let's go over the Manifest fight rotation. He has four moves with a support bot and a bomber bot. Now pretty much the support bot will keep doing a AoE speed buff on all allies and the retro bomber bot will keep doing a AoE fire physical attack on all of your team. The only difference is comes down to Seti's attack patterns on turn one. He does a AoE intelligence and speed debuff. On turn two, he does a single physical attack that'll also lower the intelligence of the target that he attacks. On turn three, he does a single physical damage dealing attack that also will give a fire resistance debuff. And on turn four, he does a single fire attribute physical attack with a self strength buff that accumulates over time. So some of the recommended party Granted, as always, take this suggestion with a grain of salt. You can obviously pick and choose whichever units you have. If you want a harder time, you can pick lower rarity units. If you want easier time, you can pick whatever's on this or just bring zone units. So for fire team, you obviously have to bring Seti, but Garyu with his uh, manifest weapon or even his another style can work out pretty well too. Renry another style is perfect when she comes out. Akane another style. E1. With his, another, uh, with his manifest weapon, Lovely, and Xion with his manifest weapon are great candidates. For a water team, I would recommend his Mena, Shani, another uh, original with her manifest weapon, or her another style, Nike, another style, Melina with her manifest, Leclerc with her manifest, Mighty, original with his manifest, or his another style are great picks as well. For a healer and support, Units, you could bring Yuna, original, or her another style for her zone, Nyana for her buff clearance, uh, Mario, original, or her another style, and or Rosetta. Seti has no weaknesses in this fight and is resistant to wind and earth type attacks. Next, let's go over Serene's manifest weapon. As you can tell, at maximum full manifest, her stats are 186 for attack, and her ground razor and invigorating flog will get enhanced skills. So for her Ground Razor, she's going to get an extra Earth type attack damage up by 50% on herself for 3 turns, and a 100% damage if the target is inflicted with pain with a double multiplier. So this weapon really increases her self damage output. And her Invigorating Flog will have a 2 turn increase instead of a 1 turn and will have a chance to happen twice with about a 50% chance of it recurring. So there's a little bit of RNG on her, but overall this really makes her into a solid, solid unit. Next up, let's go over the Manifest Rotation fight. She has a six turn rotation. Turn one, she will give herself a strength and speed buff. Turn two, she'll do a single earth attack physical attack. Turn 3, she'll do a single earth attack physical with a self strength and speed buff that'll accumulate. Turn 4, she'll just do another single earth attribute physical attack. Turn 5, she'll do again another single earth physical attack with another strength speed buff to herself. And her turn 6 will be a single earth physical attack. So pretty much, it's a very straightforward fight. The fight will get harder the more buffs that she's able to accumulate, but let's just go over some of the recommended members to bring. So for Earth Team, you obviously have to bring Serene. You can bring Nagi, her original form with her Manifest Weapon, it's more than enough, or her another style, which is one of the hardest hitting Earth units in the game. Tiramisu, the brand new unit that just came out, would make this fight pretty easy to. Primaya, Myris, another style, which is going to come out pretty soon. Lokito Origina with his manifest or his another style, 
Alga original with her manifest that'll come out later, or her another style, Tuva or Subami. For a wind team, you can bring Claude original or his another style as a wind zone unit, Felmina original with her manifest weapons, which makes her a very good single target killer, or her another style, Suzette original with her manifest or her another style in the future, which is also getting a manifest weapon at this time of the video. Isuka original with her manifest weapon is also good too. Kikyu Azami with her manifest or Vienna another style, which is a unit that is coming out in the near future. For healers and support, I would recommend Mayunfa if you're able to pull her as she's going to be able to enable your team, your earth team, a zone to make the fight pretty trivial. Dunarth, Vienna, Mana, Mario original or her another style or Yuna for supports. Serene will have no weaknesses and is resistant to fire and water. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video guys. Hopefully these type of manifestation fight guides are helpful for you guys to break down and to figure out your team comps. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.